Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Yash. I hope you're all having a good time. So today we're going to look at overhead rigs. And if you're not familiar with overhead rigs, it's a mounting system that allows you to mount your camera horizontally at about 90 degrees to get that amazing overhead look, which goes really well for product shots, food photography, and a whole lot more stuff. Now, overhead rigs are a bit more complicated to work with because the general or normal way to set up an overhead rig would require you to get to take a boom arm that has a spigot or a stud at one end and then you need to drill it into your wall or in your ceiling to get a much more stable mounting area to attach your camera to. And in my opinion, it's not the best way to do it. Yeah, it will be much more sturdier and reliable, but drilling something in my wall that I'm not sure I'm gonna use it that very much very often unless you do overhead shots like every day. And it's also pretty permanent once you've drilled it in a single place. What if you want to move it somewhere else? Then you'll have to undrill it, then drill it somewhere else. Then you're gonna be stuck to that place again. Now I'm gonna mention about four DIYs method that you can use to get an overhead look without actually drilling something in your walls. And all the stuff that I'm gonna mention aren't meant to be used as overhead rigs, but they do the job just fine. And in my opinion, they are much more better as you're not stuck with something permanent in a certain position. You can easily pack them up and set them up anywhere you like. Now, with that said, let's look at some overhead rig. So the first one on the list is the simplest and the fastest way to get an overhead shot in my opinion. And it only requires just a single tripod, but at the same time, it's not the most reliable. So for this one, you have to take your tripod and extend its leg so that it easily covers your whole table's surface. After that, you have to take your tripod with your camera on it and put it like this so that the camera faces downwards on the ground. Just make sure that your camera is perfectly level before you're put, gonna be putting it on the table. Uh, Mike, I only have one camera, so I'm using that to shoot this bit, but I'll put in some clips of showing how it should be done. So after that, you're gonna use the ground underneath as your main surface. Now there's still a pretty high chance that the tripod can trip over. So just make sure that you have some nice weights on top of your tripod's leg so that it keeps its balance and not trip over. That will damage anything that is around up here. So use anything like sandbags or anything heavy and put it right on your tripod legs and that will act as the counterweight. So it is the easiest and the fastest way to get an overhead shot without doing much. But as I said, it's not the most reliable. There's always going to be a chance that the tripod can trip over and it will damage your gear pretty badly. But if you're in a situation where you don't have anything else to work with and you need to get a quick overhead shot, this method can come in clutch. So that's the reason why I thought I should mention it besides all the risks that it comes with. So the next one is also pretty simple and easy to do. And you can also do that with just a single tripod. So to do this setup, you have to take your tripod and extend two of its legs as wide as they can go. Some tripods like this one can open up their legs much more wider than just the normal standing position. So if your tripod can do that as well, then open up two of its legs as wide as much. Then take the open up legs, uh, let me just open that up, and put them on your table like this and use the third leg to just balance out the whole system. After that, you're gonna have to tilt your tripod head or ball head or whatever you have to about 90 degrees like of course there should be a camera on top of your video head i as i said i only have one so i'm using that to shoot this bit but i'll put in some clips and there you go it gives you a nice overhead setup to work with now this one is a whole lot more sturdier than the previous one and you don't have to worry about anything tripping over but there are also something that you should keep in mind when you're using this method so the first one is that if the surface area that you're working with is not big enough you can see the edges of the table in frame and the best way to contract that is to increase the distance between your camera and your tripod. So you can use something like a ball head or a Z-tilt head to increase the distance between them. Now, the other thing that you should look out for is that if you try to go too much wide on the frame, you can end up showing the tripod legs in your frame that can ruin up your shot. So you only have a certain amount of area to work with. Now, besides that, it works really well. You have a sturdy setup, which gives you a nice overhead look without doing much. So the next one is using a C stand or a light stand. So for this setup, I'm going to be using a light stand with a boom arm, which is the one that right over there. And it's generally used for mounting lights, but we're going to use it to mount a camera on it. And to act and for that, you're going to need something called a clamp mount, which looks like this. This is basically a clamp that has a spigot at one end, which will allow us to mount our camera onto the boom arm. So after I've set up the light stand in the position I like, I'm gonna attach the clamp onto the boom arm of the light stand 
and I'm gonna use a ball head or a video head with my camera when I'm gonna be mounting it onto the clamp using which I can position my camera in any way I like. So after that, just turn on your camera and you have an amazing overhead setup to work with. Now this is one of the better ones on the list I would say as it doesn't have that much limitations. You don't have to worry about anything coming in your frame. You don't have to worry about anything tripping over that much. And it's a whole lot more easier to work with. It gives you a lot of flexibility as well. Like if you want to change the height of your setup, you can easily do that using the C-stand or light stand. And it's also pretty portable as well as you just have to pack a single light stand with and a couple of extra stuff. You can take this up anywhere and set it over there. You don't, you're not stuck with anything permanent like the traditional method. And I would also recommend you this type of setup if you're taking flat lay shots or overhead shots pretty often. It's much more reliable, simple, it's pretty simple to set up and to work with and overall a pretty good overhead rig setup and just one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna be using this type of setup for your overhead shots as it's only supported from one side i would not recommend you to put a lot of weight on the boom arm as it can mess up with the balance of the stand and it that can make that whole setup trip over again damaging your gear and just make sure that you have a lot of counterweight on the light stand or the c stand to keep its balance so the next one and probably the best one in my opinion and for that we're going to use a backdrop system. So for this one I'm using a backdrop system that I bought from Amazon and it came with a couple of stands and a center pole and to set this one up I just put up the backdrop system and just like the previous one I'm going to use a clamp mount to actually mount the camera onto this backdrop setup. And again like the previous setup I'm going to use a ball head or a video head with my camera when I'll mount it on. So this is the one that actually I use when I want to get any flat lay or overhead shots and I also highly recommend this type of setup if you're taking flat lay or overhead shots really oftenly. It's the most sturdiest of all the ones that I've talked about. It doesn't have any limitations. There's no, nothing that will pop in frame. You can mount a heavy, a nice amount of heavy load onto it as well. There's no way of it tripping over. It's still pretty portable that you can pack it up and carry it and set, up, set it up anywhere. And in my opinion, it's also the best to work with. It's still pretty simple and fast to set up. And yeah, this is the best one on the list, I would say. If you're someone who takes a flat lay overhead shots really oftenly, I would suggest you to go with this kind of setup. It's highly reliable. It works just great. You can easily change the height of this setup using the light stand. And since this is a backdrop system, the center column can actually extend up quite a bit. So if you want a really big surface area to work with in your overhead shot, you can easily do that with this. Just extend the center column to its maximum and you have a really big frame to work with. And it's still pretty cheap as you can find these type of backdrop setups for as low as 2000 rupees or about 25 to 30 bucks. And the result that you get for the price is probably gonna be the best that you will get besides, you know, permanently drilling something in your wall or ceiling. So those are some of the ways that you can set up a pretty simple and fast DIY overhead rig that doesn't limit you to a single place as you don't have to worry about drilling anything. It's still being pretty portable that you can set them up anywhere. Yeah, that's it for today's video, I guess. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments below. And yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.